Welcome to GraphTech Guitar Lab's Ghost Expander installation video. Here we will demonstrate the installation procedure for a Ghost Expander preamp, MIDI volume and program selector switch. On the back of the guitar, remove the six screws holding in place the trim cavity cover plate. The neck of the guitar is now removed to make it more manageable during this installation. Remove the four screws holding the neck in place, then carefully remove the neck. Remove all of the screws holding the pick guard in place, then remove the pick guard. Clip the bridge ground wire and also the leads connecting to the quarter inch jack. Now remove all six saddles from the guitar's bridge. Remove the screws holding in place the jack cover plate and remove the cover plate. The body of the guitar is now ready to be marked out for routing. Masking tape is used to identify the area where the preamp will be located. Carefully clamp the body of the instrument to your work area. A cavity is now routed, large enough to afford the preamp and its harnesses room to be installed within the body of the instrument. Make sure that the cavity is deep enough for the preamp and its corresponding harnesses. Remove the two screws holding the cover plate to the 13 pin jack. Now use the 13 pin jack plate as a guide to find the best possible location for your 13 pin jack installation. Tape the mounting plate into position. Using a center punch, mark the location of the four holes used to retain the mounting plate into position. A small pilot hole can now be drilled into the indent left by the center punch. Now secure into place with the provided wood screws.
The mounting plate is made of anodized aluminum and can be easily formed to the contours of the body of the instrument. Using a center punch, mark the center of the 13-pin jack plate. Then drill a pilot hole between the 13-pin jack plate and the control cavity. Now enlarge the hole with a quarter inch drill bit. Using masking tape, tape around the outside perimeter of the 13 pin jack plate. 